Alright friends, welcome back to another short video and in this video we'll be fixing on bug. So first of all, let me show you that bug. If I delete this user, let me click on delete user and that user being deleted from our database but it is not being removed from our table, right? So we need to fix this first. Let me refresh it again. And if I delete some of the users uh, over here and if I click on delete user then this is not working. If I open up the console let me try delete user again let me go to network tab and this is null right so we'll be fixing this bug in this video so let's get started first of all let me open up the code editor and let me go to user list item over here and inside this we have the model as well so first of all let's move this model in our parent component so instead of looping over his model let's remove this from here and let's skip inside of user list view this is the parent component so let me go to the end and we have this model after this let's put this model and to make this working we need to make some changes so let me go to user list item and over here we have that method called delete user and confirm user deletion and also this state so let's remove this from here and let's put this inside of user list component so let me search for bulk delete and above this let's put this okay now let me go to user list item and let's fire the event uh, from here so here instead of calling the method we need to fire the event let's emit the event called confirm user deletion and let's pass user id now we can listen for that event from our parent component so over here let's indent it And we need to listen for that event right which is confirm user deletion so let's do confirm user deletion after listening to this event we are calling the method called confirm user deletion on our parent component and we have this method already over here right which is perfect and instead of user we are passing the id so let's change this to id and let me go to user list item and finally we need to define this inside of emitted events so let's put it over here now let me try this let me delete some of this user and this user is deleted but it is not being removed from our ui but if i refresh those then those user are deleted right so let's fix this as well let me go to user list and after performing the delete operation we are firing the event so instead of doing this we need to do let's me search for this function let's copy this code let me remove this function and then instead of emitting the event we can put that code over here so let me remove this and also we need to make few changes so instead of users value we need to do users value dot data as we are using pagination users value dot data okay and here instead of user id we need to use user id being deleted dot value now let me try this delete this and then that user is deleted this is perfect right this is perfect and finally let's remove that uh event from here as well user deleted event we don't need this so this much for this short video i hope this video was helpful for you so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i'll be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one